I'm Darielle Snipes with the CMSD News Bureau. Welcome to CMSD 360, a look at news happening around the district for the week of September 11th. Today is Patriot Day, a day we remember the lives that were lost during the terrorist attacks. 21 years ago at the World Trade Center in New York City, the Pentagon in Virginia, and in a field in Pennsylvania. September is Attendance Awareness Month. CMSD, the Cleveland Browns Foundation, and the Stay in the Game Network have teamed up to reduce chronic absenteeism. With a rise in chronic absenteeism during the pandemic, the district is relaunching its Get to School, You Can Make It attendance campaign. Here is some video of the attendance pep rally that was held last week. For the rest of the month, schools will be celebrating You Can Make It Monday, Target Tuesday, Willpower Wednesday, Thankful Thursday, and Festive Friday with fun activities and prizes. Also, show us your at 10 dance. Tag Cleveland Metro Schools if you record your dance for attendance. For more information, go to clevelandmetroschools.org slash get to school. On Tuesday, CMSD and the community will celebrate the renaming of the former Lewis Agassiz Pre-K through 8 school in honor of the late Mary Church Terrell. The celebration will begin at 3.30 at the school located at 3595 Bosworth Road. Terrell, an Oberlin College graduate, was one of the first African American women to earn a college degree and became known as a national activist for civil rights and suffrage. This is the third school to be renamed through a process the Board of Education initiated in 2021. Earlier this month, the district celebrated the renaming of the former Patrick Henry School in honor of the late Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs Jones and the former Thomas Jefferson International Newcomers Academy in honor of the late Natividad Pagan, who was the school's founding principal. She also oversaw CMSD's multilingual, multicultural program and served as principal at Joseph M. Gallagher School. Also on Tuesday, the Board of Education will meet for its monthly work session. It will be held at East Clark Pre-K-8 through School, located at 885 East 146th Street at 6.30 p.m. The meeting will be live streamed. You can find a link on the district's website, clevelandmetroschools.org. Open houses will be on Wednesday for most high schools and Thursday for pre-K through 8 and K through 8 schools. Students whose schools are holding open houses will be dismissed early. Open houses will run from 6 to 8 p.m. each day. On Thursday, the grand opening of the Cavs Goodyear STEM Lab at Stonebrook White Montessori Campus will happen at 10 a.m. The lab, which will include a 3D printer, laser cutter, vinyl cutter, green screen, robotics, and more hands-on STEM equipment, was made possible by a half million dollar donation from the Cleveland Cavaliers and Goodyear. The funds are being used to add STEM labs in schools across CMSD. Thursday also marks the start of National Hispanic American Heritage Month. The observance will continue until October 15th. Senate Athletic League games are being live streamed again this school year. To see what games are up next and to watch, go to senatelive.com. Last week, students joined the District 1 team in broadcasting the Glenville versus John Marshall game. CEO Eric Gordon will deliver the annual State of the Schools address on Wednesday, September 21st at the Renaissance Cleveland Hotel. To order tickets, go to cityclub.org slash forms. We'll stay connected with what's going on in the district by downloading the CMSD app or following CMSD on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Well, thanks for watching CMSD 360. Have a great and productive week.